Good morning, everybody. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. Wherever you're at, my name is Bobby. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a spiritual warfare correspondence. Battlefield, right? Battlefield correspondence. Spiritually, of course. I've talked about being attacked, gang stalking, all that stuff. And I talked about actually physically being attacked spiritually. Um, when you speak somebody's name in a negative and you're running in the negative and you're you know, toxic, you can still attack people. You still have power. Everybody does. But it's just not that strong. It's just, especially when they're in group. They have to be in groups because they're, they're not an emperor or an empress. And by the way, emperors and empresses do not attack people. We're too busy loving and nurturing and protecting and guarding and, and just being fucking all around awesome. And what I want to talk about today is energy. And I was trying to understand what was going on the last week, especially the last three or four days with the, the energy attacks and this gang, these morons gang stalking me and feeding my power. And I was like, what the fuck, right? And I was trying to understand this psych scientifically. We're trying to, I'm, look, I'm learning as I go. My shaman powers are cool, but and I should have had a teacher. My grandfather would have done that, but he passed when I was a child, a baby. So I never really got to kind of exchange that wisdom so uh, there's no books for me not and I'm not gonna I don't just pick up a book and somebody says I'm a shaman I'm gonna read it no but you understand but the, I have learned from people and talked to people and so there's been exchanges but at the same time when you actually get into your power that's a whole different different realm baby there is no Hogwarts and stuff like that for us we have to we're this is just we're moving into the age of Aquarius things are gonna get weird people I'm just telling you People are going to start being able to do things otherworldly, and I'm just getting you prepared, right? The pe people are going to be psychic. People are going to be telepathic, talking to each other without even speaking, that kind of thing. Moving things with their mind. It's going to get it's going to get wild, people. But you got to pick sides, right? It's a battle, of light and dark. But you have that within, and this is what I want to talk about. I, I, one of my most adorable witches, hit me to what was going on. I have the, the light and the dark. I had the balance. She says, you're running in the light, but you're tapping into the darkness when you need to. And she was trying to figure out how that was. She even, she was like, this is interesting, right? Interesting energy. And I was thinking about that. And I was like, yes, that's exactly what it is. So when they attack me, the, my dark side, my demons, like I said, they're, in the, they're tied up in the basement and I let them loose every once in a while when somebody comes after me, right? And then they, then they go to work. And apparently they, they can transmute. This is only when you're in your power, right? Self-love. When you love yourself, to truly love yourself, you are the emperor or the empress. That is when you become royalty. That's when you, in your own heart, in your own mind, that is when you truly obtain your power. And that's when it starts getting fun. So these morons attacking me just fed my power. And I was trying to figure out how that was working because normally... The, it's a it's a it's an automatic oil and water kind of thing. It it's, it's a, it detracts. It's like a other side of the magnet. You just it doesn't blend. You can't just like I said. Usually it's a shield. I'm able to absorb. I've, I've I can feel the attack and it's instantly just repelled. But this time was different because I didn't just repel it. I absorbed it. And I was thinking, oh man, this is gonna I'm gonna be sleeping for days, right? No, it it jacked me up like freaking espresso. I was like, oh my god. So this is something I want people to talk about and understand. This is for the spiritual. This is for the people that are actually understanding what I'm talking about. It's getting deep. It's getting heavy. And I'm just like, as, I, as I'm as i going, as I'm being attacked, and as I'm learning my power, I'm going to express it to you, and hopefully it'll help you. But it's all about self-love. This is how why they can't touch me. Not only do I love myself, but God in the universe love me too. My ancestors are just cheering. They're just like, yes. And I got, I'm protected hard because they're like, I've, I've graduated in a way, you know, it's like, the, you, they're like, okay, we're, they weren't sure, right? If I was going to make it and you have to do it on your own, you, they're, they're helping you. They will always help you, but you still have to get up every day and wipe your ass and take a shower and, and be responsible for your actions. Yeah, that's, that's definitely emperor and empress of energy, right? So you have to work, walk it and talk it. So this is just me feeding. Hopefully it'll help somebody. Yeah, so if you're being attacked, you know, the, the best thing you could do is salt baths and burn incense and amethyst and uh, and things like that, crystals and um, what else? Love yourself. 
Love yourself. And you will have the shield and armor to kick ass, baby. With love and light. Have a wonderful day. I love you. God loves you. The universe is crazy about a powerful person.